Hello boys and girls, bentornati al nostro appuntamento con le storie. Vediamo se riuscite a indovinare che storia leggeremo oggi. Vi do un indizio. I have a big nose. I am ugly. I have a big hat, a black hat. And I have magical powers. Who am I? I am a witch. Well done. Esatto, quindi la storia di oggi è a grande richiesta Room on the Broom. Andiamo a vedere. Ok, so before we read the story, let's learn some new words. Mm? Impariamo delle parole nuove prima di leggere la storia. For example, this one here that you see in the picture, that is a broom. Mm? Da qui il titolo della storia, Room on the Broom. Can you say broom? Broom, good. And then you have a cauldron. Mm? So witches usually have got a cauldron as well. Cauldron, good. A wand. Mm? Ding, a wand. This one, you know, questo lo sapete, a hat, mm? a black hat in this case, a black tall hat. A bow, bow. And, well, this witch in particular, she's got a plat, mm? a plat in her hair. Can you say plat? Good. One more time. Broom. Cauldron. Wand. Hat. Bowl. Plat. Vediamo se vi ricordate. What's this? It's a wand. Good. What's this? A plat. What's this? A broom, cauldron, hat, and finally, bow. Ok, allora, nella storia eh, c'è una, una porzione mm, che si ripete molto spesso. Quindi, vediamo di impararla insieme, così poi quando la leggiamo la direte anche voi. E says, per chi non lo sa, per chi non ha mai fatto i nostri reading labs a scuola, eh, noi abbiamo già fatto questa storia appunto ehm, durante uno dei nostri eventi e mm, quindi chi li ha fatti saprà che questa streghetta incontra diversi animali. Mm? So the witch meets, incontra, meets three different animals, four actually because there is a surprise. E ogni animale vuole salire sulla scopa. Mm. Quindi gli chiede, Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Cosa significa is there room? C'è spazio? Posso? Mm. C'è spazio sulla scopa on the broom? Quindi, is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Oppure, is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Because this is a bird, right? Oppure ancora. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Mm? Provate a dirlo voi. Facciamo uh, the dog. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Very good, ok. Quindi ve le ho sottolineate nella storia. Quando arriva il vostro momento, mi raccomando, fatevi sentire. Here we go. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and long ginger hair, which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat When the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. 
Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hut, but no hut could be found. Then out of the bushes and thundering poles, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. Can you see the cat with a hat? Not the cat, sorry, the dog. The dog with a hat in his jaws? Okay, we're here. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog walked his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flopped a green bird with the bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said as the witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird, as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Down, cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dragged the wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and... The broom's knocked in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down the wind tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be, and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips, said, maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. He had four frightful heads, he had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice when he started to speak was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and he squelched as he strode from the ditch and he said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. 
Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found the lily, the cat found the comb, the bird found the twig, and the dog found the bowl. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom, which sits for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Okay, I hope you like this story. I'll see you next time. Bye.